Hello everyone, this is Red here. I'm doing a, something a little different. Uh, for anyone who may find this channel, or anyone who may just stumble across it on their own, I'm doing uh, edited videos now. Are they going to be good? Eh, probably not. I'm used to streaming and just uploading the VOD. But, uh, yeah, I'm playing a fun little game here. And... I've been looking for stuff. It's an itch game. It's puzzles. It should be good. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Mallory, by the way. You're like a little mouse. This is not my bed. Come to think of it, this doesn't look like my room either. It's not really a room. Where am I? Yeah, it's a void. Oh. Basta. We can jump. Can I jump off? Oh. Note to self, I can in fact jump off. There's a note to myself. Here it is. Uh, press E to interact. It sure as Starlight wasn't a distress signal. Space Marshal's eyebrows assumed a tactical formation reserved for only the most desperate of dire situations. Arid landscape around the two travelers rang with deafening silence. Things were starting to look pretty grim. What's your prognosis, ma'am? An ambush? Warp wolves? Piratoids? Uh, chief officer's mind reeled with the disastrous possibilities, one worse than the other. The space marshal squinted in the heavy yellow fog ahead, scanning what few landmarks loomed on the treacherous the tenebrous horizon. The chief officer knew what she'd decide to do next, and his already tired legs started shaking at the prospect of another arduous hike. We'll leave the robodactyls behind the ridge. Too much noise. Okay. Turn over. Three? No, okay. Whose drawings are these? I don't know. Making, making sure my recording software is working. Oh, oh. Space to jump. I jumped a little too early. I love the hop noises. The... Okay. First jump. I don't trust that crap. Oh. Whee! A bell. Can I ring it? I can. What does this do? Okay, nothing. Got this. Oh, down. Okay. Oh, platforming. Ooh, paper. Read. Incredible! These runes, they're unlike anything he's ever tasted before. Tasted? Glyph Eater. Okay. Glyph Eater was pensively wagging his right tail, looking as puzzled as a creature covered head to toe in rigid chitin could possibly be. The space marshal picked up a sticky piece of debris from the ground and inspected it with palpable disappointment. What's the point? The data's long... Oh, that's the lady. 
What's the point? The data's long lost. She was standing with her back to the chief officer, who could still hear the sound of her steel gloves digging into malleable paraffin. Can't make any, uh, sense of this, resumed the second in command. What civilization you, uh, would use something so unsustainable for record keeping? A primitive one, growled Marshall, before scornfully discarding the broken tablet into the closest pile of what used to be the main hallway of the Great Star Loon Archives. Stop reading. Flip over. You've been here before. That's not ominous. Oh. Where am I going? Oh, hold on. I have to inside here. Oh, inside here. It's gonna go there. Uh, here? Oh! It carries momentum. Oh, I'm just bad. Don't leave! Okay. Three, two, one, jump! There we go. Oh, back here. I can go here. Oh. Please tell me that at least a save point. Okay. Ooh. Paper to read. Or not. What happens if I touch the pink one? Oh, nothing. Okay, I can't make that jump. So... Oh. Okay, I have to get back up there. And easiest way. I, I'm I'm good at parkour. Trust me. No. Okay. Take it slow. Rock. Oh, paper. I want to read these. Okay, maybe I'm just bad at video games. Womp, womp. Over here. Back around. I can do this. Watch this. Yep. Read. Oh. Can't sleep. All right. Was there really a chapter about giant snails? Probably. Gosh, now I want to read it again. Oh, this feels. Oh, I should just do that. Speed up. Let's go. Ah, oh, works for me. It's totally what I meant to do. Totally. She makes little sad noises when you... No, don't... When you bump into something with a jump... Womp. Okay. Stop. Oof, these tiny legs weren't made for jumping. No, they weren't. They aren't made for parkour at all. I feel like they're just gonna disappear at some point. Oh. I see a glowy thing up ahead. Uh, I wonder what it does. Probably hurt me. My good sir, I'm delighted to inform you of the most wonderful of news. You see, I've been walking day, night, and everything in between and have improved, nigh, perfected, 
the rules to one of our favorite tabletop activities. Now, you might remember it as Cheeky Checkers, but after several important revisions, it has evolved into a perilous and sophisticated game of Chaos Chess. Okay. This brand new formula of entertainment is as fun as it is highly unstable. I'm afraid we'll have to start playing right away. Oh, uh, that actually sounds really cool. But can we, uh, can we take a rain check on this? Oh, there's two people? I got to get going, like, right now. But you just got back. The hospital's been calling again. Did something actually urgent this time around. Oh no, is everything okay? Yeah, but she's being stubborn about her medication again. I need my signature to, uh... You know what? Don't worry about any of that, okay? I'll get back tomorrow, and we'll have a go at Crazy Chess. He's gonna say, It's Chaos Chess! CHAOS CHESS! <laughs> yeah, that. What should I do until then? Oh, what should I do until then? Huh? Well, uh... I don't know, what do you usually do? Watch a movie? Play a video game? Read a book? Sorry, got around to see you. Bye! Hope you don't get stuck in traffic. I'll be waiting right here. I hope they got to play whoever they are. Chaos yeah, Chess does sound kind of amazing. There's nothing hidden back there. I wonder if there's like something different if you go from the to the right side. A bell. Oh. Oh, and here I get to go to the right side now? Um, is there anything down this way? There is. Okay, that feels like I have to do this first. Music is just ominous enough. This place looks very important. It's probably the pillars. Fancy pillars make everything look important. Oh, maybe the right was the right way to go. What if I just jump off? Is that faster? No, no, no! Nope. In fact, it was not foot. What if there's a, uh... I was hoping there'd be like a distance thing. Okay. Down we go. Womp, 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 womp. Let's see if my computer noises. Oh. Only one way, only one way, one, ugh, one way hole leading who knows where. Hmm. I'd rather look for the other exit first. Ah. Uh, okay, so maybe up? That's a possibility. Yes. These structures look like houses, but it's hard to say for sure. Does someone live here? Who would want to stay in a place like this? It feels so lonely and sad. You can get used to anything, I guess. I actually like the design of it. What? It's... Wait, fake me? Yeah, I, I, I thought we were alone too. Ooh, paper. Remember where you are. Nothing like the game getting a little more ominous. Turn over. Oh. Life form C96 aren't bio replicants. They hunt by using temporal shifts, said space marshals in frightening unison. Listen for a delay. Focus on the sound of my voice and a shot. Then another. Seven consequent shots. 
consecutive shots. Executed with surgical precision. Seven identical uh, cosmonauts collapsed to the ground. Impressive, commented the remaining marshal. Last time I saw you at the firing range, you could barely scope, score double digits. The chief officer pointed his overheated ray gun at the survivor. How do I know you're not one of them? It appears that CIA 6 keep their form on termination, so I suppose that you don't. The creature closely resembling a space marshal carefully stepped over her, her replicas, calmly walked up to the trembling gunner and patted him on the shoulder as she walked past. Hmm, I don't like... Zoom in. Remember where you are. It would have been easier if you could just tell me where I am. Oh, mysterious penful, pen pal of mine. Wasn't I just here? Yeah. I'm gonna go here now. Oh no. I'm no door expert, but that shouldn't- that, Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the doors. Huh? Back in here? Okay, well, about through here again. Nice, and I went through the first one the first time. Okay, this works. Oh, wait. You're just like me. What? I'm down? Well, if I go back in then. Oh, cube. No way. It's you. Oh my god, I can't believe it's really you. It's been ages. Ah. We used to have so much fun together, didn't we? So many wonderful memories. Well, most of them are anyway. It's not like you could have done anything about the rest, so... God, look at this place. What a mess. How can you live like this? I'm half tempted to drop on the floor and make a snow angel in all this dust. Except that would technically make it a dust angel, I suppose. Hmm. Being kinda quiet there, buddy. It's not like you at all, from what I can vaguely recall. Come on, aren't you at least a little bit happy to see an old friend? You... You do remember me. Right? What was that all about? This way. Guess not. This way. Through the door. Alright. Now we've got our cube ready. Should open this up, right? Or do we need a third one? I think we need a third one. You know, this is gonna have very minimal editing because I'm not good at that. So it's kind of just like, oh, it's just like a little game. I wanna go in now. Whole time. Yeah. Oof. You! Mm. Okay. So blinking is bad. Oh! <gasps> okay. The blinking can spread. Wait, oh. Is this one disappear? Paper. The section of the maze is particularly topsy turvy for some reason. Paper. The heat box whirred and the cave gradually began to fill with cool, wavering glow. The atmosphere reminded the chief officer of his early days in the Union Academy. 
and the long expeditions to distant moons of Nimasai. He breathed a, sentinel sigh, a sentimental sigh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Interrupted Space Marshal. Oh, ah, uh, doubt it, ma'am. The chief officer attempted a smile. I'm guessing you've had a breakthrough. He wasn't wrong. The marshal went silent for a few seconds, as if hesitant to deliver the bad news. The velocity readings on arrival, the ion geysers, the way the atmosphere blocks our signal, the horizon distortion, it all adds up. A what? stammered the chief officer. This thing we landed on, it's not a planet. Space Marshal began drawing on the sandy floor of the cave, a semicircle, a diagonal, and then another to close the shape. It's a vessel. Space worm, probably. Zoom. Zooming does nothing. Ah! I agree, my little mouse friend. Ah, uh, indeed. I can make that jump. Hup. 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 Ah. This is a safe one, right? Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. There it is. Chaos chess. Aw, oh, but the pathway is completely collapsed. And there's Nero making that jump. What a shame. Looks actually looked kind of nice for a change. Alright, we're going back. Works for me! The bell. So it wasn't here earlier, was it? No. Oh. Okay. Am I even supposed to be here? Probably not. This one looks way harder. Probably won't be. I have to connect everything. So. Like, this doesn't seem too hard. One. Two, three, one, two, and one. What? Oh! My god, I was like, what? Hmm. Speedrun. <laughs> okay, four by four. Okay, gold paths, they have to connect. Oh, does the tile have to match too? No. Okay, nothing happened. Yeah, I have to do both sides then. Okay. Uh, another 4x4. Four four. One also probably has a golden ball. Ooh, okay. Do they make a path in the center? Oh. That works. That also works. Did I fall in? No. Touch. seen you in a while. Hey. Sorry. Oh wait, sorry. Kind of a busy week. Well, not busy, more like, I don't know. Soul crushing? Sounds about right. Yikes, what happened? Taylor has set us all up again. Oh no! Yeah. Last Tuesday, we got word on what we're supposed to get done before April. And those numbers are just completely unreasonable, right? 
A random set of digits made up by enough for management to make us all feel miserable? Our friend Taylor, however, must have looked at the chart and went, Hmm. Carrying seven weeks of work into four? No problem. I try to be more confrontational this time, I swear. But it's Taylor. You know? They're one of those kind of people. Handsome, charismatic, nodding along everything you say. But then you leave the room and poof. It's as if your conversation had never happened. Because proceed to the exact same stupid thing you begged them not to do. This Taylor character sounds awful. You have no idea. And the worst thing is, if we fail our team, we'll get put on blast for being unreliable and inexperienced. Which is just office talk for lazy and don't forget how expendable you are. But if we pull it off, most likely we expect you to perform this miracle every month. All that'll pay rate for us, obviously. So we lose whatever we do. Or not do, for that matter. Fuck. Okay. I'm so tired. I need a nap. 35 year long nap. Fast track my life straight to retirement. Fast track my life straight into retirement. Or death. Whichever of those two is closer, really. Don't say that. You're the smartest person I've met. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. The work thing. Not the sleep your life away thing. <laughs> Thanks. It's nice knowing someone believes in you. Sorry I talk about my job all the time. I know I shouldn't vent to you about this stuff. Why is that? We've known each other since forever. I can't believe the worst gal you could, you could speak your mind to. That's true, but it certainly feels like we've been living two very different lives recently, doesn't it? What makes you say? Well, mine is filled with anxiety and power bills. Coffee that tastes like mold. Meanwhile, you're living in your... As if it's all one big summer break, hanging out, doing whatever, and not care in the world. I don't want you to take this wrong or the wrong way or anything. But a lot of the time, it doesn't really feel like you get it, you know. I can see that you're trying. You're a great listener, a good friend too. That sometimes I need someone who's a little bit more well, a little bit more real. I don't understand. Fuck. Jesus. Sound, I didn't mean to touch it. I'm sorry. Uh, more puzzles? No. Wait, uh. Um. Does the puzzle do anything? Nope, it's already been done. I don't know what I'm doing. But there's a path. Is it really my fault I'm so good at puzzles? Is it really my fault I'm so good at puzzles? You have to run! I don't like the, ever having an introduction of a mechanic such as running into a puzzle game. Where am I? What is this horrible place? Bell. Eh. Run, 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 run. Huh. Huh? Help me out. I don't like the lights. It's gonna make this difficult. Do I make this jump? Nope. Wait, did that just bring it closer to me? I don't like this even more now. Up. There's a second path. Nothing makes sense anymore. All collapsing? Um, down. Try down again this time. Up. And down. And up. Yes, this is. Oh. You! No!
I was talking. Oh no, I was commenting on stuff and did not. Hello? Yeah, this is uh, a poorly made video, but oh well. Mallory, wake up. Huh? Thank goodness. Oh. Good morning, Mallory. Oh, good morning, Q2 cat. You just turned all night. From the name, I presume? Yeah. One more trip to the Marvel Sanctum? Yep. At least it's not like a dream, but not your own. Uh huh. Stone pillars, endless void, and strained voices. Yeah. It's the one. Good grief. Uh, when are you ever gonna get a good night's sleep again? Never. You sense how much this is weighing on you. Doesn't seem like there's anything left we could try. Have you discovered the writings you made during your software visit? Oh, I did. They weren't terribly helpful, though. I don't think I'm very good at loose, Lucy dreaming of lucid. Yeah. See? So bad I can't even spell properly. Dream stable enough to leave Memento's future self. Can't say I've heard of such a thing before. Most intriguing. Well, I'll have to do another experiment. If you're willing, that is. Sure thing, Cat. So, Mallory. Could this be the day you finally abandoned the comfort of your cardboard box? You ask me this every day. Your nightmare shows no sign of receding, so the question hardly loses relevance. You'll have to leave this place eventually, but why? Because such is the nature of a story, is it not? When the troubling vision arises, a hero must he uh, heed the call of adventure, travel the distant lands in search of the ultimate truth. I'm hardly the hero type. I'm Mallory. I sit at home, read books, and have to be living just the way I am. A life is not a story. It is what all of our lives are, when all is said and done. Aha, so it will still be a story if I choose to stay here forever. True, I'll be a very boring one. I don't think most people would enjoy it. Cat, it's not safe outside. How could you possibly want me to go somewhere so dangerous? You've lost an eye out there. I did. I've also witnessed many wondrous things that are, well, worth losing an eye for. Climb up. E. Oh. Moving. It's like I can leave anyway. Due to the front door ages ago. Truly welcoming your interest in leaving the house, but you really want to do this. Do what? Doors open with keys? Can't open a door without one. Alright then. You can't. My good roommate. Full work. Well, that's the thing to be anyways. Oh, whoa, whoa, is me. I'm trapped inside my own... My own if abode. Too much. Keep trying to draw what happens in the dreams that never comes out as I remember it. Hmm. You used to paint so many marvelous portraits of me. When I only passed for those miserable scribbles. Consider this my avant garde fade. Don't worry, cat, I would never abandon my favorite model. I do hope so. Right down. Come on, you green little babies. Can't wait to meet you with your leafy hands. Plants need sunlight, Mallory. Don't ruin my dream of being a botanist. And they're not the only ones. So, water and tender care. 
I, you're the expert. Yeah, expert on shriveled saplings. I used to like taking a nap in the middle of the day. Not so much lately. No door without a key. Ah. What did this change? I see a difference. <laughs> Middle of the day, so maybe noon. Okay. Well, I guess it's the middle of the day. Yeah, see, that is noon. You found a key to your house. Well, there it is. Burial key. Front door has been officially unlocked. It open and not the slice bit closed it is. Such is the power of keys. Absolutely nothing. A pair of scissors you can borrow to mine this lane is boss thing. You found cat scissors. Careful, they're heavy. Among other things, yes. Alright. Goodbye, door. Wait, if we've been locked in here. So, you're really going through with it then? I guess I am. Mallory, wait. I wanted to apologize for being in so insistent. Forget all this bookish nonsense about stories and heroes. You're right, being cautious of the world beyond these walls. It can be beautiful, true, it can be violent and cruel, and filled with incomprehensible horrors. I would have urged you to explore the outside unless I knew you could overcome its challenge. I wouldn't have urged you. Wouldn't. Ah. But I can't bear seeing you put yourself in danger because of my childish badgering. Don't worry, cat. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing it because of you or your badgers. I've had a lot of time to consider this. Way more than enough, really. I think that you're right. I'm never going to find answers sitting at home. But there's something else, too. Something I forgot to tell you about. My dream. I wasn't alone this time. There was another dreamer in the Marble Sanctum. And he looks so alike. I want to find this person in the waking world and tell them they're not alone in this nightmare. They're a dream. I never thought of this possibility. It certainly wasn't a reflection. No, it wasn't. Shadow. No. Fragment of memory. Definition of your fears and worries given perceivable form? Maybe the last one. It's not unheard of in the realm of dreams. Maybe. But what if there's two of us after all? How what if there's thousands of us? Sleep charging along the same terrifying labyrinth, hoping that one day it will vanish as suddenly as it appeared. I don't know if anything good will come out of searching for my for this mysterious dreamer. I'm small, I'm tired, and I'm not very good at anything. But if there's a chance that it's not just me anymore, if there's a chance I can help, shouldn't I at least try? Feels like I should. Well, Mallory, I must say, for someone renouncing the title of a hero, you are motivated by a very noble cause. Cat, don't jinx it! I read books too, you know. Heroes never get to be happy by the end of their stories. 
Not really. It's always sacrifice to the greater good. This end forever changed by that journey. Yeah, the hero's journey. Never got home just in time for their favorite tea show the, with these guys. Sorry, Mallard. I don't know what came over me. Once again, I blame my penchant for drama. It's just so exciting, is all. Leaving the nest after all these years to make a small difference in the world. My soul feel I'm feeling just a little bit proud. Still have to step over the other side, you know. Doesn't count if I don't. Well, this decision is yours and yours alone, Mallory. Ready to leave? Oops. Not really. But I won't be more ready than now, so here we go. End of demo reached. Mallory by uh, Mallory and the Marble Sanctum. Short demo by Ivan Poroshev. Thank you for playing. So that was Mallory. Uh, what is the chapter select? Oh, Home in the Marble Sanctum. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for things you want to see, let me know, and have a good day everyone.